<laughs> Good morning, guys. How are you? Wait. Good morning. It's Melanie from Melanie's Guidelines, and I am now in a different location. I am in a location where there's cacti and hairy javelina, which I thought were hairy pigs, but of course somebody had to write on the blog, those aren't pigs, so whatever. Whatever those things are with the big fangs that I can rip off a limb and save it for later. There's that, there's like coyotes, there's rattlesnakes, there's tarantulas, and there's some hot guys here too though, so, th so that kind of makes up for it. Anyway, I am in the lovely state of Arizona, and I'm so excited to be here. I'm trying to relax. I suck at relaxing. I am no good at it. But anyway, um, I had a really fun weekend prior to leaving Los Angeles, went out with a girlfriend, and I have a funny story. I just think it's really weird how, um, you know, first of all, let me back up. My online dating life, I, it's so sad. Like every time I open an email, a part of me like just cringes up, withers up in a corner, and just passes out and hopes for a better day. I mean, I guess if you're 65, which is like older than my dad almost, and you know, has no high school education, can't properly put a sentence together in English, those kinds of things, um, then apparently I've got a magnet on my head that says, please hit on me, hit on me. And I find it so weird that the guys are like super successful or it's like, oh, they're intimidated by you and intimidated, la, 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 And it's weird because we're sitting at this place called Barney's Beanery in LA and I have to hand it to the waitresses because they did an awesome job. So picture it, Sunday afternoon, you know, Sunday fun day, we're watching the 49ers go San Francisco 49ers and I'm sitting there and this guy all of a sudden comes over, sits down, it's not a bad looking guy. First thing I notice is wearing stripes and plaid and the stripes are blue and the plaid's green. And he opens his mouth, and from the fumes, I'm already drunk because he's wasted. And he's trying to tell me that he's got this and got that, and within 30 seconds, he's like, come to my apartment. I'm like, why? Do you have puppies there or something? And he was like, yeah, and didn't get that I was making fun of him. Then we're talking more, I'm like, oh, you have moonshine at your apartment? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, good God. Someone help this poor child. So then he starts getting closer and closer. The guy in the booth behind me turns around and goes, you know I could be your boyfriend. And I'm like, yeah. Waitress from the corner goes, is he bothering you? And I just kind of look. So blue guy, striped guy, plaid guy, whatever guy, starts to put his head down on my chest, starts to get a little bit close. One waitress comes in, drops the bill from his four friends sitting over there, which he was like, you owe this. Another waitress comes from another angle, was like, get out, you're done. And he didn't move. Then the manager comes over, comes, picks up the bill, and was like, you're out of here, get out of here. And he ran out. Meanwhile, his poor little four friends, who were cute, by the way, they could have stayed, walking out with their heads down, like kind of look up at my girlfriend and I were like, Sorry, and it was just a perfect storm of everything. So, you know, I don't understand why the guys that I'm attracted to or, you know, I don't think my standards are so high. I just want somebody with a little common sense, somebody that's not gonna sing over my Tesla, somebody that's gonna enjoy my Wildcats, introduce me to new stuff, enjoy my Niners and my Giants. We don't have to agree on the same team, but as long as we can kind of watch it together and I can like your team, I don't think I'm asking for too much. But when you're getting a little bit touchy-feely right away, that's a no-no. So keep that in mind, guys. You know, it's not a good look. Don't get all sloppy wasted. And I know we always hear about girls getting sloppy wasted, but the guys getting sloppy wasted is no good. So I'm still waiting for those puppies in the moonshine. So maybe if you see this dude and you've sobered up, give me a call. Peace.